so i worked for the data and developer for the four years and i worked for the different domains like in insurance uh, banking commercial and i worked for three to four projects and one among my project is home so project it is an a home appliance home insurance so uh, like heaters boilers it is providing the insurance and here i worked for the data and ti developer um here i used to get any huge amount of the data in the form of an a file a text or csv file first we are taking that file and we are doing the file file name validation then after schema checks schema validation and later footer count uh then we are uh, then by using t confidential component we are uh, we are checking for the data types and the mandatory columns if any mandatory field is getting we as a null value so i am rejecting that record to any reject file and i am taking only suspect data from this component and i am doing some more validations before loading into the stage table like um, uh, so for suppose as it is a customer data it must contain the telephone number and email address telephone number must be 10 digit and email address must be at the right also if i am getting any corrupted data i am i'm uh, loading that data into a staging table with a null value uh, so i am giving some value to the that record and i am storing into the staging table so then from the staging tables i am taking the error value is null column and uh, i'm taking those records and i'm doing some more validations like whether that customer is, customer is present or not if he is present i am doing i'm doing uh, i'm updating that record otherwise i'm directly inserting even i worked up the performance tuning uh, for all the jobs uh, i actually i worked for the developer only for the four years okay that's good that's good Okay. i never worked for the some uh, talent with uh, salesforce and presently i am working with talent with aws okay 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 so sushma 4.2 years of total experience into it so is that 4.2 completely into etl talent uh, yeah four four is for completely but two two months they trained me on the talent Okay, okay, that's uh, that's really good. That really sounds good. So, have you been with the same company, in the, you know, four years for the past four years? Yeah, yes, sir. So you did not change the company. No, no. Okay, okay that's good. Any reason for that? And I think as continuously, I'm getting good project, uh, okay. developing project. So yeah. I continued my career in this company only. That is really good. Good, good. That sounds good. Okay. So, can you tell me what are the major components which you use in your project? Uh, major components uh, i used the t connection components or uh, t file input or uh, in uh, input delimiter output delimiter xml files uh, excel files and uh, t oracle components like t oracle bulk t oracle input and t oracle output t buffers i used t run job um uh, okay t component check yeah uh, t buffer you mentioned something what is it t buffer i used uh t joins t maps okay what what is the t run job i said t run job uh, t buffer a uh, t buffer in other words it is stores the data temporarily okay and then what is the main uh, t uh, hash buffer is there actually whenever we give an output to that it stores the data temporarily so whenever i take t hash input buffer it will uh, uh, so i read that output component here mm mm-hmm. I can read that output component here. Okay. Is there any other uh, buffer related components in Talent? Uh, only this thing. I think another component is also there, but uh, I did not work on it. Okay. So what is that? A T-run component? A T-run job is nothing but a parent to child relationship. Hmm. So parent job and child job we can run at a time, and we can pass the parameters, context uh, variables from parent to child. good that's good very good answer so uh, let's say you have job let okay and also you have sub job in your parent job okay okay so is that possible for you to pass the context variable values from your parent job to job let parent job to job let job let. okay is there a way to pass the you know values context uh, okay values you want to pass the values mm. okay I went tried, but maybe is there any? Ch- I think chance is there. I think. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah. You, mm. uh, you are. Confident? Yeah, we can pass. I think. Actually, I think mostly. So somewhere, uh, I seen that 
you know, pass in some context variable to job like Okay, but you're not sure about how to do it. Exactly, I don't know, okay. uh, but uh, I can do, I think so. Okay, what, what is the use of global variable? Uh, global variable, nothing but if uh, that can be used for any job. So that can be, uh, we can create that variables once in the repository. Okay. And uh, we can call in any job, different okay. jobs. So how can you declare it as I global variable? Uh, global, uh, suppose if we have, uh, in, inside the job also we have one component T that global variables, right? So if we create any variable that in the same job, so it will take the value whenever the uh, whenever the, the, the sub job runs, it will take the value and it will provide the value to the next sub job inside the job inside the single job. Okay, uh, can you tell me how do you declare that or you know how do you define that global variable in your repository and how do you differentiate that global variable definition with this normal variable definitions? Uh, for suppose the, the here in the global variables we can take that um, uh, set, uh, uh, what I can say that integer dot uh, we'll get a global um, uh, defined function right we'll mm -hmm. declare one value there mm -hmm. one variable sorry we'll declare one variable there oh, so within the job we can call that variable like if it is a string or string uh, or else uh, integer we can call as integer dot Uh, moving on to the next question. So, okay. what, what are the different schemas available in Thailand? Uh, different schema. Yep. Uh, inside the Thailand metadata side, you are built-in and uh, repository. You are asking. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, built-in and repository, two ways we have. Mm -hmm. So, if you go for the built-in, uh, it it uh, temporary. We can change the, whenever we want to run the job, or we, if you want to change anything, we can change in the job itself, uh, inside the job itself. Mm -hmm. So, if we go for the repository, mm -hmm. so if you want to make any changes, we know we need to change that first in the repository side. Okay. Uh, then after we can up, uh, that automatically update in the job. Okay. Otherwise, in there also, we can move to built-in. Again, we need to change, and we can again we can move back to the repository. Okay, fine. So, uh, Sushma, how do you import the non-relational data into relational database in Thailand? Uh, non-relational. Okay. Oh, so, uh, uh, example. I mean, uh, what type of uh, data will get non-relational? Uh, Hbase database. Huh. Okay, that is non-relational. I'm using no SQL there. Okay. Okay. So I want that no SQL data to be, you know, uh, converted or loaded into some uh, structured or you know relational database Oracle. So from here okay, to Oracle, it. how would you do that? Okay, if we have components directly, we can map by taking the map and we can map exactly for to column to the column. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So any uh, nothing will be changed, right? Uh, except the uh, everything columns, uh, column names are same from the both the sides, right? Mm -hmm. Or else you are getting any different columns or anything else, columns. or undefined columns. columns. Okay. Uh, have you ever worked with you know uh, big data projects? Big data projects, in sense, I said right. I am working with the talent data players. Okay. So they are uh, just I am creating the parquet files. By using Spark, uh, talent, talent Spark. So, so what is the use of creating that Parquet file? What, why can't you uh, so create .txt or .csv? What is the use yeah, of uh, Parquet? Actually, it is a requirement. Why we are using the Parquet file means uh, to check the performance. So, we are getting the 100 million data. Mm. Uh, to load to the, we need to load that to the Redshift. Mm. Uh, so, they, as it is in a columnar database, even the Redshift is also in a columnar database, mm -hmm. uh, so they want to check the performance, whether it will, even we are testing for both, we are testing for the text file and we are uh, checking for the parquet file. Okay. So, which one will be the better, they want to see that, so for, the, for the performance uh, check, we are using the parquet file here. Mm -hmm. Okay, can, can you uh, actually explain me about your talents framework? How how it is your framework looks like? Okay, uh, 
are you asking the uh, job how where we fit the job and where we are running right mm, no no i want to know your design how you have designed your job job okay yeah. from top to bottom you ask yeah yeah actually we create the job and then in the uh, while creating also first we'll take the the job a component then after uh, connection component then the main uh, main job then after that uh, all the things we will do then we will uh, save that the job and if we have then we have any two options like uh, build the job and the publish the job so if we build a job it will provide us any zip folder where we can find that uh, there we can find that dot sh and mm-hmm. dot uh, batch file so by using that we can uh, run in the shell script so and sorry to interrupt you So uh, sure. before you go to you know uh, build or deploy uh, or deploy the jobs that okay. is secondary so i am still at you know uh, in your studio i am talking about the things which are there in your studio okay studio okay yeah. fine so before uh. you publish the job so you make sure that the functionality is meeting right so your job should meet the business uh, logic or you know business requirement okay so okay. once it is error free code then only you publish it to you know some other external repository am i correct yes yes correct so i want to know your exact code let's say you are using 10 components in your job what okay. are those 10 components and you know mm. uh, what is the use of those components and why why are you majorly you know choosing those components to you know, perform that particular operation i so i need that kind of explanation from you okay component wise you are using you are asking just, just tell me the flow i, I would like to you know uh, sure, sure, sure. just yeah, yeah, i in my mind you know just to understand how the flow is in your job sure sure i will tell Uh, so first, uh, uh, I'll create the job. There, I will take the three job component, then that uh, connection, the connection component. Uh, so we are taking the database and the database. So I use the three connection components. Um, they, in the com- uh, component itself, we have an auto commit option. I need to take that. Okay. Then after, so first suppose I have, I am taking for a small job. How I am doing? So here, um, so uh, first thing, uh, then after I am doing that, I am taking the input. Uh, here input is an a file, so I'm getting an a input from the local file. So I'm giving all the properties there, parameters there, uh, and then after I'm giving that job uh, that to an a T map. Mm-hmm. So where we are in car, where we are mapping that to the target. Mm-hmm. Uh, so then after I'm giving that to an a output, uh, some uh, output database that is an Oracle database. Uh, so there we have an uh, we need to m- mention if you, uh, and I'm taking the bulk component so I need to mention the commit size and uh, batch size there. Okay, uh, let me. I have a question for you here. Okay. Okay. So since you mentioned like you're working with all the you know components and you know all the yeah, yes, database correct. and uh-huh. uh, since you have also you know uh, mentioned few things related to the commit auto commit or etc. Yes, yes, correct. <laughs> so have you uh, ever heard about commit every? Commit every. 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 Yes. Some records after some records that will be there in the output components, right? Okay, okay. Ha. Huh. Okay, we we also have something called you know or T Oracle commit. Have you heard? Yes, of we have. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes, I so could that. you please uh, tell me the difference between you know these commit every and T Oracle commit? What is the main differences between these two and uh, which one should we? Yeah. Mm. T Oracle commit is nothing but the uh, connection level actually. Okay. So you are saying that every commit, every some record. So for suppose where I given for ten thousand record, for every ten thousand record it is committing. Okay. Uh, when we are go for the T Oracle commit, uh, so it will connection commit actually. I think so that uh, it will always uh, uh, re- uh, say that the com- uh, connection is committing. Okay. So once uh, whenever we are loading the job. So at that time what? it will check for the uh, connection commit. Sikma, what do you mean by connection commit? Is it something like you are talking about when the session is closed? Before the session closed, you are just making sure that the data whatever is is there and whatever transactions you made. So you are making sure yes, that yes, that is complete. Yes. Okay. Uh, actually, for I some time, it's wa- mm, yes. Yes, please, please uh, yes. Sometimes it what will happen means it will open the database many times whenever it is reading the data mm-hmm. or loading the data. Okay. So sometimes we will get that con- connection established closed. Okay. Oh, so for that, uh, to sometimes we will get so for to to in order to ignore that we need to go for the T connection component. Okay. See, uh, I actually have a very good question sorry, here. Commit component. I have a very good huh. question related to this uh, commit every and you know T Oracle commit. Okay. See, okay. Uh, 
which one can be rolled back that means let's say you are using commit every okay so okay. can it be rolled back after some time or let's say you are using t or q commit so is there a possibility to roll back that operation so which one, which one can be rolled back a uh, roll back in the sense after loading some record we want to delete and we want to undo. we don't want that record correct and mm -hmm. yeah uh, i think this every commit every own get roll back good okay okay what about the oracle commit oracle commit is connection wise right mm. uh, we mm. can't get an roll back there i think so uh, we don't have any option to to get the connection roll back right no 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 so okay. whatever you explained about commit every is uh, perfectly yeah. correct okay. okay so commit every is something you know uh, once you do that cannot be yes. roll back so you yes, it, it actually doesn't give you the opportunity to roll back your work okay yes yes yeah but whereas in you know this or the commit so uh, whatever the operations you commit using this t or p commit there is a way okay can you can sure. you guess how 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 can we roll back that we have an ag or roll back commit that excellent answer from you good yeah i i had i seen that component actually but good, i good. did not work on that That's okay okay okay, okay. Uh, i have a scenario uh, sushma okay, okay. Uh, let me give you one scenario like you know uh, i have a source okay the source okay. is a uh, file i have two okay. .csv files hmm. i want these two .csv files data to be loaded into my one single target table okay okay uh, let me tell you what data is there in my file okay so in okay. file 1 i actually have employee number employee name and department okay in file 2 i have employee number employee name that's all okay okay so department field is something which i have in addition in file 1 with you know file okay, two, okay? where okay. if you see my table it actually has department column employee name and employee name employee number all three columns are there in my target table okay so okay. my requirement here is to load the data only which has the department values so how would you do this only department values yep let's say uh, I, i have to load two files data into a single <coughs> table <coughs> while loading if department column contains this department you know in that file it should load otherwise it should not load okay yep target table right mm -hmm. so uh, so uh, we can go for the um, so department uh, employee id is there right mm. so on that we can go for the join mm. uh, then in the uh, in team a something mm. uh, so in the uh, right side we can declare one variable mm. uh, so what is that mean uh, null is not null employees means we need to load the target table when mm. this employee is not null mm. this department is not null mm. so whenever we'll get we will check the space and null both mm -hmm. mm. is null we have a function that and mm -hmm. we uh, we can check that and we can load but uh, we are checking the nulls in specific okay you are telling that join which which join you use in this case uh so here we want all the departments right yes let's say so we can, uh, yeah my right table has department my left table doesn't have department i mean the file my source file so in that case okay. how, how would you join this and you know which join do you prefer to you know uh, only allow the department values okay uh, you have right table only i thought do you have left table uh, that is department mm. okay uh, so here we can go for the inner join uh, based on the are id you, or something are you sure about that are you sure that we need to use inner join uh, so uh, means that means we need to get okay. the data in the right table let, right let me go in detail and ask you two okay. questions which are related to database so sure sure joins are there right what are the joins which we have in uh, okay. talent you are asking yes yes uh, talent we have mm -hmm. uh, in ah uh, tell me what are the different joins available in talent yeah we have uh, left join and inner join is that all don't we have uh, any yeah. other joins no these are the options we have so other joins we can uh, perform by uh, doing some job uh, extra by using some some extra job and we can do that mm -hmm. so these are the default values we have left side and inner okay can we perform right order join in talent yeah we can perform that's what i'm saying we don't have any uh, specific uh, 
डिफॉल्ट नेम बट वी कैन परफॉर्म दैट हाउ हाउ कैन यू परफॉर्म राइट आउटर जॉइन इन टैलेंट राइट आउटर जॉइन मीन्स सो फर्स्ट वीक वी नीड टू टेक सम लेफ्ट टेबल एंड राइट टेबल सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू डू दैट इज एन ए लेफ्ट जॉइन सो वी विल गेट एन आउटपुट and again one one more map we need to take mm. and we need to interchange this left and right table mm. uh, so there we get an another output okay. uh, so there we in, we need to give that to an ht unite uh, component uh, also and we we can take into one uh, single out so what is the t unite what is the use of it yeah t unite is nothing but it, it will take the number of input that means that must contain the same schema same column can you elaborate a bit on it yeah uh, so suppose if you are having an a two uh, two output columns mm. so uh, to these two output columns i am giving to one single t unite mm. so these two components must have the same schema okay uh, and uh, so uh, it will have anyways it will have the two schema two uh, two schemas uh, two table schemas but it, it should be same mm. so in the output side i can drag and drop the same columns whatever we want okay okay now coming back to our uh, original question yeah scenario yeah so two files on one target table yes yes okay yes. Uh, here which join you use no answer you you told me that you go for inner join so i questioned you why do you go for inner join yes, yes correct which join you use yeah uh, so uh, i am thinking that um anyways left out of join we can't do because there we don't mm-hmm. have any department in the left table mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. so why i am going for the inner join in the sense uh, so mm-hmm. i need to test this but uh, thoroughly i am saying that mm-hmm. um, um because the, we, here we will get the match record so uh, along with that match record we will get any department id anyhow mm-hmm. so with this department id i am filtering my left side Uh, uh sorry right side in the team map okay uh, so he is null he is not null sorry the department id is not null mhm and it does not uh, it, uh, i am trimming the empty space also okay fine fine okay uh performance optimization so can you tell yes. me about it how how what are the ways you know we can improve the performance of our edu yeah yeah Uh, so uh, we can do in two ways suppose if we are using uh, any database so we can optimize our performance by you checking the dear database level also so for suppose we are using any uh, multiple joins mm. so we can check for that which uh, in the qu- uh, query explainer in the oracle database itself we can check whether which join is taking much time mm. uh, so that we can optimize our uh, joins so so unnecessary joins we can remove that Mm. uh then uh, uh i am coming to the talent side uh we uh, we have in uh, for example we are using team apps so uh, in team apps we have an attempt store on desk option temporary for a particular store uh, so there we can enable that option and we have a like, parallelly we can load the all the lookups at a time okay. uh, these things we can do and, uh, and we can check for the commit size and buffer size um uh, and if we are um, uh, for suppose in the uh, run time jvm also we can increase for the better performance we can increase our memory okay hmm and unnecessary com- components or unnecessary uh, columns we are reading suppose we are using only one column in our lookup mm-hmm. so instead of taking all the columns from that uh, table we can read only one column okay hmm So what is uh, this bulk load component? Yeah, bulk load component is nothing but uh, so uh, we have an option like uh, the the uh, output or the uh, bulk comp- output components. We have bulk components. Whenever we go for the bulk components, whenever we are getting a large amount of the value volume, so at that time what it will do means it will it is an option like it first it will store as an file, mm. then it directly dump that file into the database. Okay. okay 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 uh, i have another scenario okay okay this is something related to database okay 
Okay, I have one main table. Okay. Okay, in that main transactional table, every day I am actually inserting millions of records. Okay. Okay. That actually causing lot of performance issues. Okay. Okay. Let's say uh, there are millions of records. Okay. In that millions of records, I just need to check. few of the records and update that particular table okay so in these kind of scenario how how do you do actually improve the performance so you want you want to check all the records which we are getting for update okay let me give you an example okay it's a okay. employee table and millions of records are there okay okay so in these millions of records you have something hmm. called employee id hmm. employee address phone number all employee details hmm. are there okay okay so okay. i want to update salary of the employee in employee table mm. where mm. the employee name is equal to rahul okay okay only for that name yep. okay yeah so with that name i actually have again thousands of records mm. in my data okay okay but okay. when when you put where class to search that particular value in the table, table it has to go through the table and read each and every record Okay. Yes, so mm. I I don't want it to go to the table and check all millions of records. So that okay. actually you know reducing my performance and it is you know uh, lacking so yes. much. Yes. Yes. So yes. H- how would you improve the performance in that case? Ah, uh, actually I think we have the RSL row component. Hmm. There we can directly give that query. So it will take actually what our talent will do means it everything it will read inside the talent. It will take talent memory. Okay. Uh, so whenever we use this component, it will uh, it will run this in the uh, database itself. Okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. Mm, so I think uh, we can use that component, the Oracle Row what component. Is, what is the use of indexes? Indexes. Uh. Okay. So indexes are what, what like by, by the perform. No, no, yeah. Creating an index. What is index actually? Can you tell me what is index? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, index is nothing. Yeah, index we can create on table mm. uh, like a primary uh, unique index or primary index, uh, clustered or not unclustered index. That means nothing but whenever we create an index on particular column, mm. so it will whenever we are retrieving data from that table. Mm. Uh, so in per- uh, performance wise it will be better for us so it can uh, by by using that column we can filter the uh, record easily we can retrieve the record easily okay can you tell me the differences between clustered and non clustered indices i don't have much knowledge on that actually we mm. i know the creating of the indexes and all things mm. uh, so i don't have much knowledge i think that clustered in means default or something you need okay, to something no i don't no yeah yeah uh, progressive corporation car insurance i think you have very extensive knowledge on talent in this project okay um, okay mapping so yeah. have you you know uh, ever worked with source to target mapping Target. Yeah, ETL mapping. So, can you can you explain about what is ETL mapping? Yeah. So, you're asking any component with component wise the map or like that? Are yeah, I'm just asking about ETL data mapping. What is ETL data mapping? How would you do this actually? Ah, uh, actually, so for suppose if you don't have any transformation or anything else, so uh, we 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 can take only source and the target and we directly dump the data to column wise. Mm-hmm. If you have anything else to declare on any joint, we need to perform. So we go for the DMAP component. There we uh, suppose if you are uh, if you are not giving all the columns to the target from source side, they are taking ten columns. But they are in target side, I am using only five columns. Uh, so for this time, we will go for the DMAP. So here we can take only five columns, whatever we want to the target. So those columns we can give to the target side. Okay. Have you ever worked on you know uh, data mapping documents, data mapping documents? Did you data. Yeah, requirement document. Data. 
document in the sense I didn't get. Okay, how how do you receive the requirement from? Uh, yeah, yeah, D D S I D C D C right? You ask me. Yeah, these things I I used to get from the client. Mm. So some uh, right, I mean that uh, requirement I will get from the client. So for which column I need to map which thing? Okay, don't you have any data analyst or business analyst in between you and your client? Uh, in the sense uh, we have the. I am only working for the project. Uh, other thing, other people are for the different technology. Mm -hmm. But talent, I, I think the present project only I am I'm handling the talent. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have some lead, uh, but he is uh, he don't know talent. He has okay. different knowledge and not so open knowledge. In that case, things. who is creating the requirement documents in your project? Yeah, yeah, myself only. Okay, so can you tell me what are the different requirement documents which you have created earlier? So uh, presently, what I in the present project, what I am doing means uh, so I I got any requirement from the client, mm -hmm. so I am preparing the technical document for it. Okay. So uh, I am what I am in time is in first time mentioning the what version of the talent we are using. Mm -hmm. uh, then after the how many tables and how many ta uh, how many tables I have. Mm -hmm. uh, then after I am using uh, first things I am explaining the process of flow how we are doing this mm -hmm. job and everything. Then after the component level, uh, mm -hmm. then the how many jobs I created and the each com each each job each uh, output or uh, I mean um, each job how uh, mappings I am declaring the mappings. Uh, okay. So one column to the other column. What uh, uh, straight load or anything? Okay. I am mentioning those okay. things. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, I have another question. Okay. So, uh, what is this TFTP copy command? I think it TFTP TFTP copy com component. What is that component? TFTP copy component. Uh. Also, uh, uh, that means uh, if we so I used TFTP file transfer. That means connection comp uh, connection. Mm -hmm. TFTP connection component. Mm -hmm. uh, there after the uh, file system, I use a TFTP file transfer. Yeah, that is fine. I okay. could actually see your uh, different FTP component names mentioned in your CV. Okay. So oh, by, one is by T fault it got I think TFTP. No, no. get TFTP put. No. <laughs> get I that yeah. I am aware. Okay. But I, yeah, yeah, I would I like that. to know about TFTP copy, TFTP delete. Do we have such com such component in Intel? Uh, copy, I do I did not work really that. Okay, I read something about uh, like TFTP delete, TFTP copy. Maybe by mistake, it, uh, I printed on that uh, because I want to this uh, only those things on that TFTP side. Okay, T file archive. What is the use of it? T file archive. That means it will. Uh, Zip power files. Oh, sorry. It means zip, suppose if you want to co compress our uh, compress our file, mm -hmm. also it will zip. We have in zip zip. Mm -hmm. What is the T uh, flow meter? T flow meter. Eh? Flow meter. Flow meter. Yeah. What is the use of it? Ah, uh, T flow meter. I worked one. Uh, Okay. Uh, not remember much. Flow meter. I want to but I not now. Okay. And uh, can you explain me about error handling and you know audit capturing in talent? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for error handling, uh, in the sense we have any components like T, D, and T one component. Mm -hmm. uh, so there we can uh, capture any error we are getting, and there we have a T stack catcher. So with that uh, a T log catcher and this T stack. Catcher. So if you are getting any errors, we can catch uh, we, by using T die and T one. We can stop our job and we can catch with that the component. Okay. Mm. So audit auditing. How how are you maintaining your audit tables? Audit information. Information. So I am using T start catcher to collect. Uh, I need some more like uh, job name. I need the uh, by using NB line. I am taking the output count. Okay. Um, I mean, may I ask you another question? Uh, you have three different jobs, A, B, C, D. Okay. So, in case if you want to know the total duration of the job A, huh. 
how would you know the timing when it has started when it has ended and how much time it took how would you know all these details okay uh, you're asking here uh, you know one job here and multiple sub jobs uh, no, so no, no, no. Job only one job you have only one job you should okay. do it actually okay you scheduled okay. at 10 pm every day so it is running every okay, day at 10 okay. pm Okay. So, how would you know what time it has started, what time it has ended, and you know how much time it has taken? Okay, single job you want the time. Time that's it, right? That's that's of the job. How how would you? Uh, so yes. we here yeah, we can at the end of the job we can take our uh, exact the talent, get the uh, current date, something else uh, to uh, know the time. Actually, we are maintaining one separate table for the status of the job. Uh-huh. Uh, so for suppose uh, that job it will run. Uh, I'm triggering them at, at daily at 11 o'clock or any sometimes. Uh, I'm keeping trigger on that. So what it will do means uh, in that uh, finally uh, whenever the job ends, it will uh, connect all the stacks and it will store in one table. Okay. Yeah, there I uh, there we can see that uh, start time and end time. So uh, what I'm doing is in the sense uh, I'm taking the current date timestamp of the talent mhm okay um what is the use of uh, t chronometer t chronometer mm-hmm. okay chronometer uh, let me ask you few things about uh, job scheduling how how do you do uh, scheduling scheduling actually i use to tag okay so, so I can i ask tag. you few questions on tag Yeah, yeah, you can. So, what is AMC? AMC? Mm. Is there any, uh, I mean, uh, tab in the tag, AMC tab? AMC, yeah. Really? Mm. AMC? Okay, fine, leave it. Okay, actually, what I put in the tag, I will tell you. I'm going to work for the job connectors, mm-hmm. configuration, mm-hmm. Mm, server. Okay, let, let me talk about configuration part, okay? Okay. So, in configuration, how would you configure SMTP server details? Uh, actually, those things were done by the administrator only. Uh, really, I'm saying so. so uh, those things. Uh, I know how the IP address of the SP and we are in the general settings artif- artifact uh, okay. provided. Okay. Let me ask you one so question. Thing. Yeah. Uh, what is the difference between normal task and artifact task in TAC? Normal. Normal task and artifact task. Artifact task in the sense whenever we publish a job. So it will create a snapshot version in the artifact uh, mm-hmm. server. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, from that, uh, from that we can okay. we, uh, okay. collect our snapshot and we can deploy our job. No, no, no. I am asking about the how, how do you deploy the job or you know how do you import the job into tag? Can you tell me? In the tag, yeah, that's for them. When uh, publishing, we have an option and. uh from uh, build the job we have an option and we can collect from direct from spn or git okay we can store that and we can take hmm these three options we have in the tag okay do you have any knowledge on talent cloud talent cloud i don't have but i worked for also for one month one and a half month i worked for talent with salesforce salesforce uh, salesforce okay means i used uh, my so, source and target is sales force do you know plsql plc cola i don't know you don't know i don't know but how strong you are in oracle database sql oracle database i worked for the, as a talent developer whatever the required queries i wrote uh, for the talent uh, mm-hmm. like uh, joins uh, sub queries views okay let me ask you so those things i know on sql okay? okay what are the analytical functions analytical function mm. or aggregate analytical i don't know okay. so hmm, what is the difference between row id and row number um uh, row id is uh, automatically uh, once again you know yeah uh, it is generated by the system itself so some values it will give row id whereas row num is an a sequential uh, value Difference. I need a difference. When when row ID? Yeah, I know that. Uh, I think so. It some uh, row ID occupies some space, and row num I did not. Mm. I think so. Yeah. Okay. 
So any other schedulers you are using in your project? Any other job schedulers? No, I used only that. So sometimes I used to run the jobs in the Unix server. What is your version? Version of Helen? Uh, your is it the Present enterprise version? Yeah, enterprise. No, okay. no, enterprise only. Six dot three dot one. I am working. Oh. Five dot six. I was so presently I'm working six dot three dot one. Do you know what is the latest uh, Helen version? Actually, Open Studio I seven point two B. I I used to do some videos, something I used. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it was updated for four months back. I used it on point two version as Open Studio. So do you know what are the latest features added in latest version? Mm, I don't know much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Do you have any questions for me, uh, Sushma? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, what type of uh, project uh, you are? I asked about big data, right? And you are looking for the big data project or else uh, any normal DI? Yeah, we actually have big data projects as well as BI okay. projects, business intelligence projects as well. Yeah. Uh, okay. So if you see here, we have so many projects, but uh, most of the projects are you know big data projects only. So that's the reason. Yeah. 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 No, I think I I think you you are also from talent. Maybe it won't take much time to take up that big data talent with big data. Mm -hmm. uh, so as I'm working with the AWS, it is new to me again. So I I took this project alone and I worked for this. Uh, so here also I uh, I created all these uh, strings outputs and all in mm. the Redshift and I used to create the parquet mm. files mm. in the big data size. Uh, so okay, I handled this. Uh, let's ask you two simple questions. You know, last sure, question. sure, sure. Okay. Sure, sure. Uh, what is the you know a user with joblet? Why, user why, joblet. Why do we need to create joblet first of all? Yeah. Uh, so of course, if you are using some job a base of course the for context. So yeah, for each and every job we require a context variable, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of using uh, pulling the context variables every time from the repository creating in each and every job. Uh, so once we create that file and we can create a, some joblet for that. Uh, so we can call okay. that joblet. Okay. Any other any other things? Yeah, any other joblet you are telling? Reasonable thing means we are using that code many times. So I'm okay. creating some joblet and I'm using. Okay, talking about reusability, then what is the difference between this joblet and sub job? Sub job. Mm. Sub job is nothing but we inside a job we are creating another job. Mm -hmm. Whereas that we uh, joblet is so that we create once in the repository side, and we if we want that in. Any other job, we can drag and drop that. So, whereas sub job that is uh, dependent, that is only independent, uh, dependent for the that job only. It won't work. We cannot call that to the other job. Mm, okay, but sub job also we can drag and drop on some other parent job, right? Yeah, that's the tiran job component we need uh, to use. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So the sub job is nothing but that is an a another job only, right? Okay. We can drag and drop. Job only in the mm. Tiran job also. Mm. Okay, one last question. Okay. Uh, we have connections like on component okay and on sub job okay. Uh, sub job okay. I yeah. need at least three four differences between these two. Three four differences. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Or else we just give me yeah. uh, one uh, you know uh, similarity and you know two differences between this on job okay and on component okay. Uh, so uh, basically, we go for on sub job okay and on component okay in the sense if I suppose if any two sub jobs are running, so uh, so it is between two sub jobs, so we can go for the on sub job okay. So when we use this on sub job okay, it means that uh, the sub job first sub job the execution of the first sub job complete, then only it will come for the next sub job. Okay. So whenever we will go for the on component okay. Uh, so whenever we are using in between two components or one component to the other sub job, mm -hmm. uh, so here we will go for the on component. Okay, that means whenever um, the complete uh, for the run of the first component complete, then it will go for the second uh, second sub job. Okay, I understand that. I understand that. Mm -hmm. My question mm -hmm. is, see, uh, 